So welcome to this wonderful ground as the West Indies, led by Kyron Pollard, take on Sri Lanka. Well, it's going to be interesting to see, especially with the position of these two teams in the international rankings, who comes out on top in this series. Here we go. Nice and full, looking for a bit of movement. 9.45 start, and generally at the SSC, you do find a bit of moisture. On the pads. Lao Chao given. Palya Guruge had a thought. And this is a big one. It's Shea Hope who's been hit. Well, it's referred. Uh, impact is in line and it is missing the stumps. Uh, Ruchi, I'll tell you to when you're on screen to reverse your decision. On screen now. Oh boy, oh boy, great review. You call it right from up here, Dooch. Go for it, he said. Not lasting too long. That's to the boundary. Nice and full. Shea Hope, he's a classy player. Got him. Pereira strikes. He got that to go through. Brilliant from Pereira. It's Ambrose who walks. Well, he'd been reaching before at a couple of deliveries. Ambrose without getting that foot forward. And... Uh, this one beats him all ends up and crashes into the stumps. Jack back in. That actually was the first ball that Tissero Pereira got the seam to hit the pitch. Sunil Ambre is gone for three. West Indies, one down for ten. <laughs> what a shot. What a shot. Been in for quite some time now, just assessing conditions and said enough is enough. Nothing really too much wrong with the delivery. Just stand and deliver. Oh, even better. Perhaps the shot of the day so far. Another six back over long off. He bowls the googly. Oh, trouble here. Trouble here. For sure. He's gone. That is for sure. Frustration. Darren Bravo's gone. He is not happy. Understandably, but not the Sri Lankan team. think the single was ever on and Darren Bravo caught well short of his ground the tightness of the Sri Lankan fielding paying off again as Darren Bravo has to go look very ominous it's gone for 39 or 52 deliveries West Indies now 87 for two Half century for Shai Hope, his first against Sri Lanka. Very good in the subcontinent, average 187 prior to this game. He's been the rock for the Windies. They've been building on big scores around him. Seventh score of 50 or more in 11 ODI innings in the subcontinent for Shai Hope. Oh, what a shot. May not go all the way, in fact, a couple of bounces and four. And this is over the top from Ruston Chase. Got him inside edge. Slower delivery from Nuan Pradeep. You can understand what Ruston Chase was after. Mid off in the circle. I thought he picked it. Good slower delivery. Went it over the offside. Just got that inside edge and could have gone anywhere but into his stumps. The West Indies lose their third wicket. Did well, Ruston Chase. For his 41 in just 45 deliveries. West Indies now 172 for three after 36. Got him. Tame dismissal for Nicholas Puran, but it was another slower delivery from his Rudana. Another slower delivery. Caught it high on the bat. Simple catch in the end. It's 
So a fourth wicket goes down now for the West Indies. Nicholas Puran. 11 from 12 deliveries. And the West Indies now 193 for four. That's what it is. Top edge. Sandakan. Sandakan gets underneath it and holds on to it. That's a big one. Byron Pollard's gone. A little bit too high for him to keep it down. And straight down the throat of fine leg. Kyron Pollard for nine. West Indies now 207 for five. The mainstay, 99. Make that 100. Stunning 100. Really good 100. Team under a little bit of pressure early on. Good partnership with Bravo, but he's held his nerve throughout the innings. Ninth ODI 100 for Shea Hope. Fifth in the last nine innings in the subcontinent. His first against Sri Lanka. Gump. Brilliant bowling again. It was a slower ball and he'll have to walk off. But as he does, he has done a terrific job for his team. But don't write off Sri Lanka. They'll still feel they're very much in this contest. In the full and straight slower ball. Just ricocheting of both legs onto the stump. So a disappointing way to go. But he's elated. Isuru Dana picking up his third wicket. And she hope departs for an excellent 115. The West Indies now 230 for six. Chippingtons. Oh, and a mix-up. And a mix-up. Oh, what a mess, but what a brilliant bit of fielding. They've been outstanding throughout this innings. And in the end, Holder, well, Holder and Paul didn't know quite which end they both wanted to be at. In the end, they met in the middle, and it's Holder who has to walk off. Another soft dismissal, another disappointing dismissal. Uh, this time, confusion and miscommunication between Kimo Paul and Jason Holder. Yes, no, yes, no. In the end, Absolutely no chance uh, for Jason Ola. Uh, he goes for 12. And that's gone for six. That will help. And that will get them up to, uh, well, they should get to be on 265, 270 now. Powered down the ground will go all the way for six. <laughs> right on cue. <laughs> right on cue. Now it makes the job a little tougher because uh, the length now that he has to bowl has to become even more precise. That's excellent batting again. Finds the gap again, finds the boundary again. So uh, what a finish this has been to the innings with a delivery to go. Power down the ground to not quite finish with a boundary. That sort of sums up Sri Lanka's day in the field. Bit of desperation and good reward for it. But we've got a really good game on here. 290. They will have to chase Sri Lanka. That'll be the highest run chase on this ground if they can do it. So Shea Hope then uh, very much the star with the bat right at the top there. He anchored the innings at uh, a mix up there with Darren Bravo, but held his nerve to go on to his ninth. ODI 100 of 140 balls. Contributions in the end from Bravo and the man you've just heard from there, Boston Chase. But really, don't uh, underestimate the importance of the inning, or the runs rather, right at the end there, Kimo Paul and Hayden Walsh. Some stars there. Pradeep was excellent with the new ball, finished well as well. Udana was a little expensive in truth right at the end with his slower balls and not easy bowling to the last two on this pitch, but he was rewarded with three wickets. So, uh, well, good all-round effort from Sri Lanka and their fielding was pretty good as well. So, Sri Lanka will need to chase 290 runs from the 50 overs, just under six runs per over to try and win this first game of three. Skipper will be out in the middle with Avishka Fernando. 
There's a Vizca Fernando now, so uh, well, they'll need a handy start. There's Fernando. He needs runs. He didn't get runs against Pakistan in the recent series, Norton four, but he has a hundred to his name. So we have an excellent atmosphere now. The crowd has built throughout uh, the morning into the afternoon here, and they've come to watch uh, their heroes, Dimuth Karuna Ratna. Then will look to improve on that average, but he's a very, very good player. He's been a good player for some time. So a couple of slips in place. Early playing miss alongside me, Jeffrey Dujan. Very good afternoon to you. Afternoon, Nick. Afternoon, everyone. Early aggression just picked up and deposited uh, to the deep mid wicket boundary. Lovely shot. A lot of control to the shot and a lot of power too. Here's a future star. Zari Joseph. Well, I was also referring to Avishka Fernando. Stands tall. He's treating this crowd. Wonderful batting. Avishka Fernando has other plans, doesn't allow him to. How easy did that look? That's the first six of the innings. Had to turn. Had to turn from there, but I doubt that happened. It looked like it was going on with the arm. They're thinking about it. They got six seconds if they want it. Oh, it's taken it. Pollard asks the question. Keep, keep rolling forward, flat line, past the glove, flat line into the bat. When ball tracking is ready, please. Impact is in line and it's umpire's call on the leg stump, so you can stay with your decision, Richie. I'll tell you when you're on screen. Ooh, looked at a good, good shout from the West Indies to go upstairs. Oh, gets a good piece of that. That's four. Well hit. Punch down the ground. And that's a boundary. It's a good way to end the over. The 50 to Dimutkarno Ratna. He gets there before Abhishka Fernando. Of just 52 deliveries, seven fours. And uh, indeed, uh, they got a lot to cheer and dressing room will be a very very comfortable place big appeal and the finger goes up and he's gonna send it upstairs thank you flat line when the ball goes past the bat we're going back to on field to Rachira. Rachira flat line change your decision on screen now well, no surprises that he went upstairs straight away. Palle Guru seemed to suggest that he heard a sound. But Karno Ratna was spontaneous. He just went up, went up straight away. I think he's going to send him this time. I don't think there's any doubt about that one. And the batsman himself wasn't really questioning the decision. Didn't look back either. <laughs> but that was because it was so obvious. <laughs> he didn't need to support the umpire there or to confirm that he had nicked it. He straight away walked. I think the nick was too thick. Oh, he did look back. He did look back. I'll tell you, he did look back. <laughs> Wicket for Jason Holder. He's done a good job, Colonel Ratney, 52 in 57. And uh, Sri Lanka now lose their first wicket. It's 1-1-1, one, one, one. Nelson for one. And that's his 50, 50 number three for Avishka Fernando. Don't forget, he's already got 100 against the West Indies, and now he's got a 50, and an important one.
They're very confident. They're asking for the catch, and it's given. I think Avishka Fernando straight away walked. I think he, he knew he had nicked it. And this is a huge wicket, dude. They've got two quick wickets and the set batsman. Pitched up and just got that edge. You could see it was well away from the pad, so that sound couldn't have come from anything else but the bat. That's Zari Joseph. First ball of his second spell. Picks up the man who made 50, Mishka Fernando. Just 55 deliveries. That is 50. It's 121 now for two. And that's nicely played away. Nobody will stop that. Will make him feel good. Just his second delivery, timing it off the middle of the bat. Certainly give him a lot of confidence. Big shot, massive shot, and it's gone a long, long way. And that'll just relieve a little bit of pressure that was just beginning to build. Yes, 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 simple, simple as you like. It was another full toss, and very little had to be done to take the catch. No, well, it was a gift from Hayden Walls Jr. to Mendes, and Mendes gifted him back with his wicket. Nice loopy full toss and trying to get it over long one only gets it to Alzari Joseph who completes a simple catch but a very very soft dismissal here and for Kusal Mendes he goes for 20 Sri Lanka now 153 for three they ask for it nothing from umpire Wilson they do have a review they do have a review. They ask for it. Okay, bottom match. Uh, go back to Paul on field. Paul, uh, Spike, when it's the bottom of the bat, you're on screen now to reverse Oh, yes, decision. they got that wicket. Back-to-back -back wickets for the Windies. Replay showed that it hit the bottom of the bat. Difficult for him to see it. But technology does. And Matthews goes for five. Of just four deliveries. 168 for four, Sri Lanka. Oh, good shot, but will it be taken at long off? It is being taken. Walsh has got the wicket. Brave as well. He just got it up above the eye line, and that tempted Dan and Jaya down the pitch. That's an excellent catch running forward. Not easy to judge. Kimo Paul does really well. Building throughout the day has been good. So West Indies very much in it now. They needed that wicket. And enjoy the silver going uh, for 18, 201 for five now. In the air, it's taken a deep, a deep square leg. That's another good catch. Hands on head. Another look. Swinging it away on the onside. Is it clean? That's the question. Yeah, I think it's quite clean. It is clean. Very well taken. That is uh, Darren Bravo. That's an amazing catch. Goes down to backward square leg. And in fact, over backward square leg for six. Short delivery. Just pivoting. Fielder there. Fielder there. Takes it. Another soft dismissal. And he would be sorely disappointed with that. And so too would be all the fans here at the ground. A short ball, the field was set for that. And he finds the substitute fever fielder, Rothman Powell, in the deep. And he has to go. He goes for 32. Sri Lanka now 253 for seven. Thirty required. Only three wickets. Eight taken. Number eight for West Indies. An unlikely way, but the wickets keep tumbling. Sir Udana is the man. Kimo Paul, the wicket taker. Another catch out the wicket there. Uh, for Shea Hope, the first wicket keeper. 
for the West Indies to score a century and take four dismissals in the same match. And a timely wicket as well. Udana goes without scoring. Sri Lanka, 262 for eight. Hammers. He's got a good piece of that. Four. Slow ball. Offside he goes. Four more. Wonderful start from Wani Hasaranga. He tries. Slow one. Fantastic. Scores are tied. How about that for timing? Wani Hasaranga. Came a ball. Full toss. They're running. They're running. Oh, got him. <laughs> Sandakan's gone. Sandakan's gone, but the positive for the Sri Lankans. Hasaranga is on strike. In a normal situation, the score is tied. So just one run needed. Look at that brilliant throw. Nine down then. Sandakan, he's played his part. Just the three runs to 89 for nine. Asaranga on strike. One run required, two results possible. A tie or a Sri Lankan win? Can Hasaranga do it? Can he do it? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. It's also a no ball. Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka get home. It's their highest successful chase at this ground, and it's their second highest successful chase against the West Indies. First win, chasing a score of 250 plus in 14 such attempts. First match here of the NDB Bank Cup, Sri Lanka versus West Indies ODI Series. 289, Shoi Hope 115 leading the way, Kima Pauls 32. Gave them a lift towards the end. Sri Lanka contributions all around. Corona Ratna, Avishka Fernando, half centuries. But Wanindu Hasarangas, 42. What's the difference? Alzari Joseph was brilliant with the ball for his 3 for 42. Sri Lanka then, win by one wicket.